no uh, view selection which display you want you press down shift and you click this and it goes to different views you click it twice and then it'll give you the name of the song and uh, remaining time that you have left and little comments and stuff like that I usually like click it one more time and I usually like this one which shows you the levels on all the channels and where where your uh, record you have uh, stuff recorded and you don't how about channel bumping if you want to record a channel while you're recording another live track and you wanted to record what was on uh, say 15 and 16 on the 13 and 14 with a live track that you were doing then you would press down this here let's see how you get this window and you, at the same time you press on 15 and 16 well uh, I guess I haven't separated so that puts 15 to 13 and then you would hit your shift button and we got it on shift stick so you hit like this and then you'd have to shift again which since I'm carrying the camera I can't do that so we just hit this to demonstrate oh it does do a shift so it does hold that shift okay 15 and 60 and there you go so then when you hit record going to record what's on 15 and 16 on 13 and 14 along with whatever you choose up here you know be the keyboards you know whatever it's you know they're, they're really connected to nothing now but you say you would do the keyboards and then you hit shift 13 here there's the keyboard so then the keyboard from 5 and 6 and this channel whatever's on there would record onto 13 and 14 now let's do a copy track copy so here we go copy and paste shift track copy so here's your start so you go to place the starting place where you want it to copy uh, 8 to say and say you only wanted from 8 to to 8 3 to copy or say you wanted go down here 8 to the using the the wheel say and we use the wheel to change H1. You always want this, the start and the from, to be the same, I think. I never used any differently. I guess there's ways or reasons to use that from in a different way. I can read up on that later. And then where do you want that to go? You know, you want that to go from the day one. You want it to go over to here. This looks like a beginning of this something. And then you want it to go 48.1. Okay, and then you go pick the channels you want to copy. And then those channels turn another color to indicate that they're going to copy them. Not another color really, but they, they have an indication that you're going to copy them. And then you just press execute. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to copy, but that's what you would do. If that's not good, here's good old undo.
and track delete will be here and track and then you press page and hit erase and then see it usually has what you just did and say if you bumped you know if you uh, copied you know, 15 and 16 to 13 and 14 and then it would come up with where you did that copy the original piece and it would come up with 15 and 16 do you want to erase that and then you just make your decision whatever you want it to erase and whatever tracks but since we didn't copy anything actually it doesn't really give us any tracks to to erase and you would press execute after you got your beginning and ending and make sure all tracks are on or all B tracks are on now let's go to virtual tracks go into the track and right here so our cursor is right here so we go over to the left one down and it's virtual track right now we're on virtual track 2 there's probably something on virtual track 1 that I wanted to keep and wasn't sure that you know I could do anything better so I took this to virtual track 2 so I can make another recording and save that first recording that I did and then I could pick between the two and you have 16 of them. And I usually take it off the virtual track. Because then I can see everything. And then we exit out of here. CD back up. So you'd have a CDR in the CD player that I showed you in the earlier earlier um, film you hit CD back and see it says please insert CD and what you basically do is uh, choose whatever songs and you mark the songs and you pick your speed which would be I usually get four times and mine has a hard time verifying the song so I took that off but you might want to take put keep that on. Um, you can try it on yours, and uh, then you just press execute, and then it copies, and then it spits out the CD when it's done. So we're going to hit exit here, or we're going to hit no, and then we're going to hit exit. Okay, so yeah, we're going to hit 